My name is uh, Ralph Clayman. I am a professor of urology here at the University of California, Irvine, uh, also a Dean Emeritus. My area of focus is minimally invasive urology and specifically kidney stones. When it comes to stone disease, yes, I mean, and this is what drives us to the laboratory. So clinical problems drive creativity. Creativity drives us into the laboratory. What we do in the laboratory then drives us uh, to, to basically discover new things. And then we take those things and then bring them to the bedside. So a perfect example, um, when we work um, to take out a small kidney stone, and we're going to do that from below with the ureteroscope, meaning that we're going to want to pass a small endoscope with you asleep, a small endoscope up the urethra, across the bladder, up the ureter, and into the kidney to break up a kidney stone with a tiny laser fiber no larger than human hair. The question is, once you break that stone up, how do you get all those pieces out? And that's where it becomes very difficult. So there's a thing called a ureteral access sheath. So you can actually pass this sheath up the ureter, take out the inner portion of it, and now you can pass your scope all the way up through this sheath that protects the ureter. You can basket stones and you can pull them through the sheath. It greatly facilitates the procedure and makes it to some extent safer for the patient. The problem with the access sheet is that they're different sizes and you'd like to get the largest access sheet you can get up because then you can get out bigger fragments, that makes sense. But if you push too hard on that access sheet, it will split the ureter. And if you split the ureter, then you have to leave a, a, a stent in the ureter for a while um, and it just complicates the entire procedure. So this was a vexing problem for us that we then took to the laboratory and said, okay, uh, how much force does it take to split a human ureter? Oh, nobody knows. So we went to the lab and in an animal model, we started passing up different access sheets, but we worked the School of Engineering here with Mike Klopfer there and developed a force sensor. So you could put this on the back end of the sheath and now you know exactly how much force you're putting on the sheath and it reads out in Newtons and it went out to a, uh, a handheld unit and you could actually see the pressure going up. And we learned in the animal that roughly six Newtons of force and it was safe. And anything above that, you ran the risk of splitting the urine. We then took that clinically and did an IRB approved clinical study in 200 patients. And we found out that in point of fact, if you stayed at five to six newtons, you would never split a urine. Tremendously valuable information. And we're now developing, hopefully with the company, to incorporate that into the access. So with that, you can safely feel comfortable putting up a 16 access sheet, which is the largest they make. But if you get up and you see that pressure, you downsize it to a 14 or downsize it to a 12. By the same token, we don't know how big an access sheet some ureters would accept. And that's another study we're looking at right now, because some might take an 18 or a 20. But when it starts to get that large, you then eliminate the need for putting a hole in someone's back and into their kidney to access a large kidney stone. So this is another area of ongoing research for us. By the same token, if that sheath goes up with very little pressure, three newts, do you need to leave a stent behind when you're done? The answer may well be no, but that's another thing that we're doing. So these are very translational studies. Uh, we're working on new devices for removing the stones. We're working on new types of lasers. So the thulium laser is a new laser that may truly dust the stone out. And we're one of the few places in the country that has one of those in our laboratory, and we're actively studying it. So there's a lot ongoing in stone disease with the idea eventually in the future that all stones, regardless of size, would be treated without making any incisions in the person at all, without putting any holes in the kidney. They'd all be done from the lung. Uh, that day's not here yet, but it's coming and we're doing everything we can to make it a reality.